What's up crew, today we're going to be talking about black-footed ferrets in the next installment of this Endangered Species of America series. I'm going to be trying to put one of these out every single week, so keep me accountable on that and I'll try and get one out every single week, so let's get started. Black-footed ferrets, also known as the American polecat, are a type of mustelid in the weasel family that are native to the western part of North America, specifically where prairie dogs live, because I can, as you can see from this photo, their main diet comes from prairie dogs. Looking at this map, we can see that their former range once spanned all the way from Canada to Mexico, but they've now been reduced to very small, limited populations where they've been reintroduced. The main reason for the black-footed ferrets' vast decrease in population size was, first and foremost, was disease. Disease spread through their colonies like wildfire, and it wiped out their populations almost completely to where they were thought to have been extinct in 1979. But one population that was almost extinct from disease was actually found in 1983, and then all of them were captured to start a reintroduction program through breeding. And this was all done with the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. Another big reason for their decrease is actually the decrease of prairie dogs as well. Prairie dogs are what's known as a keystone species. Their burrows are used by a multitude of species, such as gopher snakes and burrowing owls, and the black-footed ferret. Farmers wanted to get rid of prairie dogs in the western United States to stop their cattle from stepping in the holes. However, this led to a decrease in water infiltration and overall less quality in the soil for the cattle to graze on. And by getting rid of the prairie dogs, they got rid of a ton of other species, just like the black-footed ferret. The lifespan of ferrets is about one to three years in the wild, and about four to six years in captivity. The ferrets that live in captivity are spread throughout the United States to minimize the risk of the diseases that led to their demise in the wild. The captive breeding programs for the black-footed ferret have been incredibly unique. Not only have they been taking, taking them up into captivity, but they also did one more incredibly unique thing. Cloning. This is Elizabeth Ann, the black-footed ferret. She is the first endangered species native to America to be cloned in an attempt to rescue that species. Elizabeth Ann was born in December of 2020, and she is actually the most genetically diverse ferret in America right now. So she holds a big key in the process of regaining this population of animals. Genetic diversity is one of the most crucial things any population of animals needs. Genetic diversity makes it so that disease is less readily spread and it increases the chances of survival for the young. Elizabeth Ann represents a beacon of hope for endangered species all over the world. The science can be replicated and redone many times to help save species that desperately need the genetic diversity that's lacking in their populations. The Smithsonian Institute is most likely going to start doing this cloning with many, many different species, but they've not released anything that I have found saying that they have any plans to do so currently. The black-footed ferret is one of the most interesting land mammals in all of North America. And with its protection, we can protect our natural history of the United States. By protecting the ferrets, we, we're not only protecting the grassland ecosystems they inhabit, but also the species that are in decline that are not technically endangered yet, such as the multiple prairie dog species, burrowing owls, and gopher snakes, as I mentioned earlier. Let's continue to conserve. Thanks for watching. And let's make BFFs our BFFs.